Greetings from Vintage Video. We apologize for having this, our latest segment of What's New, being this late, but uh, we've had the summer. We all hope you had a good summer. We had the CNE. We had lots of things going on around here. So welcome to our latest What's New clip. Now, you may be wondering why I'm holding the witch. Well, of course, we all know it's October, and at the end of October is Halloween. Halloween may be our favorite time here at Vintage Video because of all the spooky and creepy things we have. I um, don't mean the staff, I mean our product. But before we get into the Halloween goodies, let's take a look at some non-scary stuff. First of all, the fourth volume of the Bowery Boys. For anybody who's grown up with the Bowery Boys, been anxiously awaiting the complete run of this, and I do believe that this will be the final one. Twelve films in one set, Bowie Boys, set number four. Next we have the two sets of all of the Andy Hardy movies. Andy Hardy, what a guy. I don't think he probably survived in today's world, but it's nice to remember what things used to be like. Next we have the character that Columbo was based on, Charlie Chan. False clue like old fish, very smelly. I don't know about the rest of you folks, but I love Charlie Chan. I always have. There are seven volumes out now which constitute the complete run of all the Charlie Chans played by three different actors. Seven sets all ready to go and we have them all in stock. I see nothing. I know nothing. Well, we all know that. But it's my intro to Hogan's Heroes. The complete run of Hogan's Heroes in what is referred to now as the Commandant Collection. Hogan! England had Miss Marple. Warner Brothers had Hildegard Weathers. Spinstery old lady who solved all the murders that the police couldn't seem to get their heads around, but she could. The complete Hildegard Withers collection from the Warner archives. Marx Brothers. Everything they did on television. Marx Brothers complete television collection. Baba Black Sheep. For anyone who's interested in aviation, especially Corsairs and Robert Conrad. It's on for two seasons, Baba Black Sheep telling the story of Papa Boynton and his flyers who were misfits from every other part of the Air Force. They sent them down to Papa Boynton and he whipped them up into, you know what they did to the Japanese Air Force. Finally, the Grace Kelly Collection. All of her movies except for one, which was done for a different studio called 14 Hours, The Grace Kelly Collection. Now, for all you diehard William Shatner fans, Barbary Coast with Doug McClure. Very, very early William Shatner in a cowboy hat. We are talking about Hildegard Withers before with Miss Marple. Here is Margaret Rutherford, the four feature films that were done in England in the 50s. Miss Marple, not the television series, but the four feature films that were done in England in the 50s. To conclude this part, before we get into the Halloween stuff, I would like to show you some of the newest releases from the Warner Archive. And as you know, the vast majority of these titles are not available in Canada. Errol Flynn's The Warriors playing Edward the Black Prince. This film has never even been available on VHS, at least not legally. The Warriors, Errol Flynn. Richard Widmark, Death of a Gunfighter. For all my Western fans, they've been asking for this one for a long, long time. And speaking of Westerns, Alan Ladd's Drumbeat. And to the best of my knowledge, this has never been available before either, especially on VHS, Alan Ladd Drumbeat. 
One of my customers requested this. I didn't even know it was out, but we've had a lot of call for it. Five man army. Something like the Dirty Dozen, but in the Western days. The two desert songs, 1943 and 1953, both virgins. Now, for all you Ronald Reagan fans, before he became very popular as an actor, and, of course, before he became president, he did a series of detective aviation movies called Brass Bancroft. Something along the lines of the old Saturday afternoon serials. Um, but when things are going wrong in the air, they called for Brass Bancroft, and he solved them. Finally... Clark Gable, Doris Day, Teacher's Pet. We must have been asked for this three, four times a week. Now it's out. Again, one that has never been out before, even on VHS, Tyrone Power, Mississippi Gambler. William Holden, The World of Susie Wong. The original Showboat, directed by James Whale who, as you people know, directed Frankenstein. And finally, Charlton Heston in The Hawaiians. This has been a long time coming, very, very popular, goes along. It's a good companion one to his movie called Diamond Head. These are some of the latest releases from the Warner Archive, but as you regular customers know we probably get in 20 to 30 new archive titles every month. And now for Halloween scary titles. Let's start off with a new three DVD set called Festival of Fright. This set contains over 100 trailers of the best of the horror movies from the golden and silver age of film. It's been very, very difficult to get any kind of DVD out that had trailers in good quality. Finally, it's here. Festival of Fright. Moving on to the collection called The Hollywood Legends of Horror. This is a six-movie, three-DVD collection of some of the very best classic films of horror from Hollywood, including Bogey's The Return of Dr. X, I bet you didn't realize that he made a horror movie. Eight of the best from the Hammer Studios, including Oliver Reed's Curse of the Werewolf, the best werewolf movie ever made. What would Halloween be without Kolchak and the Night Stalker series? This is the entire run of the TV series, and we also have the two feature films, The Night Stalker and The Night Strangler. I also have, was able to find four of the Universal Legacy Collection. The Wolfman, Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Invisible Man, and The Mummy Sets. Every one of the Mummy movies, every one of the Creature from the Black Lagoon movies, Every one of the Invisible Man movies that Universal Man made, they are in this collection. And finally, a hundred of the best cheesy and maybe not even B-movies of the horror genre. One hundred films in this collection. And to end, let's look at some of the latest titles released from the Warner Archive. The first one, Terror in the Isles, hosted by Janet Lee and Donald Pleasance. Again, it's a documentary on the horror film, starting pretty well with the 80s, right to the present. The best modern-day Frankenstein movie, Frankenstein, The True Story. This was, is with James Mason, Jane Seymour, the one that people have been trying to find for a long time, Frankenstein, The True Story. The Thing That Wouldn't Die. Bad Ronald. I wasn't aware of this one until one of my customers asked me to bring it in. Eye of the Devil. One of the very, very best Satan-worshipping cult 
films. I know last time I told you about Killdozer. Got to remind you about Killdozer. Very good British. Burn Witch Burn. The Black Sleep. With Lon Chaney. And John Carradine. And certainly one of the best with a collection of people like Vincent Price, Christopher Lee, John Carradine, Peter Cushing, House of Long Shadows. And to finish it all up with the most requested spooky movie throughout the whole year, Two in a Guillotine with Connie Stevens and Cesar Romero. Well, that's it, folks.